down the road again and we're in Statesburg, the Neesmith Lane Center, where it's the STEM event. This is the second annual STEM event. Grace and Rose and I came last year. It's a lot bigger this year. So since we got here, what what do you think what do you think's different this year from last year? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, NASA had even more cool stuff inside, including this interactive computer simulation that allows you to build your own rocket, and if you want to ray around for it, you can even see the rocket launch. The folks from Gray's Reef were set up, showing off their little tiny ROV with the, with the camera there. You can even see me in the screen. Allison Scott was who we met. On Gray's Reef, we have a, bu a bunch of receivers that hold it on the, on the reef. And whenever a fish that has been tagged goes past the receiver, it sets off a ping, and that receiver stores that data. So we can then go into that data and look at it. We can see where, what types of fish are different areas of the reef, and where they're moving, and that helps us with creating a good habitat for them. Are they in one part of the reef during the day? versus night, where are they in relation to other different types of species. And so we have our own tagged fish out there. We tag skag, uh, gag, and uh, red snapper. And um, what we do is also researchers along the East Coast have tagged other different species like loggerheads and bull sharks, tiger sharks, great white sharks. And so we found that all of these different species that they may have tagged up in Canada or New York actually travel down to Gray's Reef and use it as a habitat, as a little stopping ground for them because there's just so much biodiversity there and it's a great habitat and that just emphasizes the importance of protecting this precious ecosystem. I spent a day on the boat out there doing this, doing TV one day. I don't dive. So we this is with were diving and we were there on a remarkably clear day. And I, what I couldn't get over was how many, you know, that day where we were, how many barracudas we saw. It was like, wow. It's definitely makes your heart race. <laughs> but it's really cool. Um, just the, the, all the different species out there and um, the habitat that we're trying to protect is really, really so I just graduated from Emory uh, undergrad. I got a degree in environmental science and biology. And I had an interest in freshwater ecology and marine biology. So I was trying to figure out which direction I wanted to go before going to grad school. So I actually lived in Savannah. I moved here in 2008, so I had my last two years here. And I found out about Grace Reef through a family friend who actually helps out with a lot of documentaries for Grace Reef. He's a professor at SCAD. So he told me about the reef and he told me about the work that they're doing. So I was in the job application process as this all uh, recent graduates. And I found about everything that they're doing and I offered to volunteer. So I'm volunteering there and I'm learning so much already. They're helping me learn how to use different programs that will then help me in graduate school. And they're teaching me all about this equipment. All right, I'm coming. And you can do a lot of interesting stuff with that by controlling cars, drones, different application in engineering. If you own a TV, a TV has millions of these small LEDs. If you look at this, it's only one color, but if you touch it here, you can see it changes colors, and that's how TVs change the colors and give you high def pictures. You can try it. You want to try it? It's really cool. And these are these boards are very cheap. They're like 20 bucks you can buy and practice with those. Another cool application is this board. You can design it to with a sensor that senses temperature to measure temperature at any place. And it's measuring 73 now here because we have an AC, but I know my body heat is higher than that. If I touch it, look how it's changing. It's going up because I know my body heat is higher than that. If I let go, it's going to go down. You want to do it? Touch the sensor. And these applications are essential for all 
uh, applications we have home. If you have a microwave, it has one. If you have toys that has electricity going through it, it probably has one of these microcontrollers in it. And you can do more things with it. And this, is, this application is a really cool application. If you look at this, this is called the flex sensor, and this is called the servo motor. If I touch this and flex it, I'm gonna control the motion of the motor by, by my fingertip. It's like a joystick. You wanna try? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. And these are the basics for all designs, for robotics designs or anything that requires any automation in it. And this tells you perfect. And you can look into it, download some of these programs and actually do it your own on your, by yourself. It's really cool. What do you remember most about coming to the STEM event last year? Um, the ice cream. Tell me how it worked. Um, they mixed two gas particles and stirred it and there was a bunch of steam coming out and then we got to eat it. But they told us and don't eat it. They said don't they said don't eat it right away or it will burn your tongue. We're pouring liquid nitrogen in. Liquid nitrogen boils at negative 320 degrees Celsius or better not actually. And you dip, uh, mix that in with your mixture and we make dipping dots. Hey, you know, they come out pretty good too. Tell me why you gotta wait. Why you can't just suck them down. Because if um, if you stick your tongue on there while it's still freezing, it'll, um, it'll freeze your tongue over. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't, if it's not quite that bad, it'll still sting you <laughs> in the back of your throat. Yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me your name. I'm Dominic Winder. I'm a um, second year master's degree student here at Georgia Southern. Well, the STEM Festival is all about getting kids involved in science and math. And it uh, pretty much works. And they'll be doing it again next year at Georgia Southern. Like foosball, but backwards. Yes. Well, our next stop was Hunter Cattle Company in Stilson for Farm Heritage Day. This is Hunter Cattle's Farm Heritage Day, and we are inviting everybody to come out. The weather's great. Weather's that, perfect. Couldn't <laughs> the weather, better, could you? It's perfect. And, um, you know, we got the blacksmith, we got the sheep shearing, the goat milking, uh, we got rides for kids. You know, we're just having a great day. Great food, too. Great music. Lots more from Hunter Cattle after the break. Down the road again. I'm Lindy Brandon. Looking for some fun in the sun this weekend? Come on down to Tybee. Stop in at Gerald's Pig and Shrimp for the best fried shrimp on the island. Big time flavor barbecue, fried oysters, and homemade sauces. Cruise in for cold beer in the shade. On the way to the sand or on the way home, make Gerald's a part of your Tybee weekend. Gerald's Pig and Shrimp available for private parties and on-site catering. Open seven days a week. Check TybeeBBQ.com.